Welcome back. The declassified FISA memo firing up heated debate in Washington. The memo uh, shows that top law enforcement officials misuse surveillance tools to spy on a Trump aide. If the report does prove abuse at the FBI and the DOJ, what is the next step? My guest, New York Congressman Peter King, says open hearings. He's the chairman of the Subcommittee on Counterterrorism and Intelligence, and he sits on the Homeland Security Committee. Congressman, it's always a pleasure to see you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Maria. What do you want to see take place here? People want to see accountability. We are well aware of what took place at the top of the FBI around the election. Well, the Intelligence Committee, we have to finish our investigation of the whole collusion issue. And I can tell you right now, as far as I'm concerned, there's been no evidence of any collusion whatsoever. We still have several witnesses to go through. We will have to issue a report on that. We also will be doing a report, or at least doing an analysis, of the uh, uh, the CIA, the intelligence uh, community's assessment last year about Russia and the, and the Trump campaign. And uh, I, I think the American people are going to see that really this has been 15 months of a sustained attack on President Trump by certain people in the uh, intelligence community, certain people in the FBI. Again, what their motives are, I'm not going to jump to that conclusion yet, but certainly it's been uh, very improper conduct, very uh, biased contact, uh, uh, conduct. Whether they're aware of the bias or they just live in an echo chamber, I don't know. But what's happened here to a president of the United States, a duly elected president, should never happen again. So we're going to go forward with that. I had said the other day, I think right now, uh, is, since most of our work, the Intelligence Committee, is done behind closed doors, I think the, uh, the House Judiciary Committee should certainly look into all of the uh, allegations and all, I believe, the solid factual foundation that we have in the memo that we released the other day. Yeah, and, and we just heard from Congressman Ratcliffe, who's on the Judiciary <coughs> Committee, who, who basically yeah. said the, the investigation of Hillary Clinton's emails, uh, it was the fix was in. And, and, you know, Jim Comey actually admitted later that he began to write the exoneration memo before he actually interviewed him. And, and, and yet we continue to hear from Jim Comey. Here's his latest tweet, Congressman. Look at this. Uh, he says, this is after the memo was released. That's it? Dishonest and misleading memo wrecked the House Intel Committee, destroyed trust with intelligence community, damaged relationship with FISA court, and inexcusably exposed classified investigation of an American citizen. For what? DOJ and FBI must keep doing their jobs. Can we just pick apart this, this, this uh, tweet for a second? Destroyed trust within the intelligence community? He's been stonewalling Congress for a year unwilling to give up the documents that actually proved that there was uh, that, that, that there was abuse at the top of the FBI. And then he says, inexcusably exposed classified investigation of an American citizen. Um, did this from the guy who actually leaked classified information to his friend who was a professor with the whole intent of getting a special prosecutor. Is he serious with these tweets? Yeah, I tell you, uh, Maria, since December of 2016, we've had constant leaks coming from the intelligence community, coming from the Justice Department, coming from the FBI. They usually go to the Washington Post, the New York Times, revealing classified information. These uh, criminal activities being carried out by people in the government. Nobody's investigating it. No one's uh, looked into anything. And for Jim Comey, oh, I had always offended him over the years. But what he's doing here is just totally wrong. For him to be saying somehow that by us putting out a memo, which should not reveal any classified information, to not reveal any sources or methods, to say that somehow we're compromising national security or we're putting... Uh, uh, credibility of the Justice Department and the FBI at risk. When, it's, when he was there as head of the FBI and stuff was appearing all over the place, whether it was from him, his office, whether it was in the Justice Department, this was coming from secret investigations that were being carried out and the testimony and facts were going out. Often uh, they were misleading, they were out of context, or they were totally wrong. All this was being done to hurt President Trump. And now when we come back with an honest assessment, somehow he's saying that we're the ones who are creating the issue. Now, I'm very disappointed in Jim Comey. And I thought that that uh, tweet coming from a guy who is a smart lawyer, yeah. who knows what he's doing, it sounded like a handout from the Democratic National Committee. That's incredible, actually. Wh where will the accountability be, Congressman? Tell us how you see this playing out in terms of actual charges. Again, uh, I think we have to have a congressional investigation. I like what Alan Dershowitz says, that we could have a commission come here. Also, I was listening uh, carefully to John Radcliffe right. and uh, also to Jim Kallstrom. This, again, you know, they, this is full-scale investigation of President Trump for collusion. So far, nothing's come up. If we wanted to start connecting dots about collusion against the Trump campaign, they're out there. Now, whether or not this is criminal, whether or not uh, what, you know, what was done or should have been done, I, I think it certainly violates procedures. It's definitely unethical. And it could well, if the prosecutor wants to find 
uh, crime. I think it can be there. But I don't want to jump to conclusions like they have yeah. against President Trump. But I think we have to have Congress fully investigate. I think the Justice Department should look out. Did people in the FBI, did people in the Justice Department intentionally withhold necessary evidence to the FISA court and continue continue that uh, that nonsense for, for, for one plus three, four total FISA applications here. Be because basically the people who brought the, the uh, warrant and asked for the warrant from the FISA court, they knew that the Democrats paid for the, the research, right? No, they knew it. And also, you know, Josh, it's not just that it was paid for. I agree. That's, uh, no, they did not tell a judge that it was paid for by the Clinton. They may have said there was, uh, there was some political motive in there, but they did not say it was paid for by the Democratic National Committee That's or that the Hillary Clinton campaign was involved. And also, yeah. the, the only real fact that I've been able to track down in that dossier is that uh, Donald Trump's lawyer, Michael Cohn, was supposed to have met with a Russian agent in Prague, Czechoslovakia, in, in Czech Republic. Yeah. That is totally untrue. Michael Cohn has never been in Czechoslovakia, well, the Czech Republic. So what they're relying on is we know it's false, and everything else in there is slander and gossip. Right. Before you go, Congressman, look, it's pretty clear that the Democrats uh, just do not like this president. They hate this president, frankly, and they want to uh, regain power so that they could move to impeach him. And they're not doing anything in terms of messaging or in terms of doing, you know, having a plan for the American people. I, it feels like this president has just put the left in a box with this immigration plan because he's actually offering more than what they've <laughs> asked for the dreamers. If they say no to this, it, it's obviously going to just be, well, we just want to resist because he just he offered what they wanted. He offered three times more than what they wanted. Right. And that's, uh, again... So will we see a, a deal a, a on Trump immigration? Re Tell us about DACA and immigration and what, what is to come in the coming weeks. I, I certainly hope there should be a deal, get this off the table, take care of these young people that are here. And again, if the Democrats turn it down, this should be an issue against them in the campaign. We're not trying to make it an issue. We're trying to get it resolved. The president wants to resolve it. And again, Chuck Schumer had said that he would put money for the wall if the president uh, gave a, a form of a status to the Dreamers. He was talking about 800,000 Dreamers. Now President Trump says he'll give it to 1.8 uh, million dreamers, right. and uh, Chuck Schumer says no because he can't pay for the wall. So no, they box themselves in, I believe, and it's important for Republicans to stay on this and address it in an intelligent way. All right, we will see. This is going to be an and important the president test. is leading the way. The president is leading the way. Yeah, this is going to be an important test to see how uh, Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi respond, since it's much more than what they wanted. Actually, uh, Peter King, thank you, sir. Always a pleasure yeah. to see you.